Good afternoon my friends, this is Krebs here with the World of Tanks installation guide. Today we're going to be looking at how to install the XVM mod. This thing is ridiculously hard to install if you don't know how to do it, and I had to spend a lot of time actually figuring it out myself, along with a few of my other friends. So this is going to simplify everything in very easy visual steps. I'm going to get straight to the point. What is the XVM mod? It's a mod that allows you to essentially see statistics of players whilst you're in game. It also can calculate percentage win chances uh, and amongst other things also include uh, how many hits you've done on your opponent, how much damage you dealt to certain people and stuff like that. It's a very useful mod in my opinion and a lot of people like using it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do how to install right now. Now the first thing that you're going to need is actually the download itself and what I'm going to do is in the description box below in YouTube you'll get a link on where to actually download this. Now this file that I'm sending you is for 0. Point or 0.8.3 okay so I'm sorry if you come from the future and this thing is outdated but I'm sorry so anyway download that file and you'll get something called this 604 Paulo Paul Zomer XVM Paul Zomer is just the uh, guy who made it that's his configuration there are many different configurations for XVM mod but let's stick to simplicity just download this one open it up with Windows RAR and what you'll get is a whole bunch of stuff. Notice how this is some of it, it's in Russian, you'll see some funny characters. Totally ignore it because there's also English uh, aspects to this as well. You'll get English uh, installations if that's what you want. So the first thing you install is doubt, I guess get this Doken install, take it out, and simply install it. I've already got it installed on my computer, and so it doesn't really matter where you install it, just install it anywhere. It just needs to be on your computer. Now this is a very important step. After you've installed the Dokkan, you need to restart your computer. I have to repeat that. You have to restart your computer. Just having it installed does not do anything. You need to make sure that your com uh, computer is restarted after you've installed it. Okay, and once you've done that, what you have to do is next put in your xvmstat.exe and also configuration file into your World of Tanks folder. So your World of Tanks mode folder might be uh, local disk C, games, then World of Tanks. Just put that directly in to here as you can see what I have done. Next you head on over to your res mods folder over here and you go to the 0.8.3 folder because that is the patch that we are currently on. If you're in the future you'll have a different patch uh, folder and then what you do is go to res mods in the WinRER, open that up, you'll see two different files, clan icons and 0.8.3. There's different sort of things. Uh, clan icons are just these images it adds to the game. Don't worry about that. If you just want the stats itself, go into 0.8.3. Then just copy and paste this GUI folder into, into 0.8.3. If you already have a GUI folder, then go into GUI, Flash, and then copy all these files into your Flash folder. Okay. A lot of other mods actually use this Flash folder as well, so you might have a mixture of different uh, .swfs in there. So copy and paste those into the Flash folder. And that is it guys, that is simply all you have to do. Now, before you actually start up the stats, you have to open it from xvmstat.exe. So what I like to do is actually make uh, a shortcut and that's what I've done. I've made a shortcut on my uh, desktop by simply right clicking and then, uh, where is it, it's make a shortcut, create shortcut there and then just put it on your desktop. And what that does when you open that up is that it opens up xvmstat which directly uh, logs you into World of Tanks. So that is how you install it, very, very easy. Uh, one thing to note is if your uh, XVM is Russian, then what you can do is go into XVM doc over here in the WinRER file, go to samples, and here is the grand baby of them all, you have a whole bunch of different user configurations. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is the Paul Zomer XVM. You can get different languages of this, so the one that you're currently using I believe is the Russian one. And so if you go into the English one, you'll have this configuration file, the XVM configuration. So what you have to do if you want the English version is to go into res mods, 0.8.3, go to GUI and over to flash. And you'll notice that when you pasted that folder in earlier, you got an XVM configuration, the default one. So all you have to do is copy this English one and over replace the Russian one. Also, other, other things to note in this uh, WinRER is that there's other user configurations. So you can see a, a bunch of other XVMs that other people have made. And this reflects to how the statistics 
are displayed in the game. If you want to have different statistics uh, shown in a different manner, if you want people to be labeled in different manners, then you can use people's uh, different configurations. You can also see a screen picture of just how these things differ. So as you can see with that one, has some different colors, I guess. I can't really tell a huge difference. Uh, this one has some, uh, yeah, it's, you can see that the bars over the tanks are slightly different. And so each one differs in their own manner. I hope this was simple and this helped you. And until next time, I will catch you all later. Right, here we go. Three, two, one.